Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about Hacker News application. Uh, if you see here, this is the Hacker News API documentation, or you can say uh, this is Hacker News GitHub link where you can get all the information about this API. And uh, if you see here, this is the endpoint to get uh, to fetch this history, and this is the uh, information. So you can use this data to make your application. And you can uh, use any tech stack to make this application. For, for this project, I am using Angular. And you can see here, this is the endpoints for comments. And uh, you can see the array. And uh, this piece means uh, this is the reply of each comment. So one comment may have multiple reply. And uh, also one reply has another reply. So this is just like recursion. Uh, that means uh, comment has another reply reply has another reply so this is just like recursion you have to handle this in your application okay and uh, there are so many endpoints so uh, using this data you can uh, you can use this data in your application okay and uh, i have made this application with angular so this is my application and uh, if you see here this is the uh, history. So this is the title of history, and if you click on this uh, title, it will uh, redirect to another page. So this is the information about the history, and uh, this is the profile. So uh, the writer of this, the creator of this history. So this is name, date, history type, and the vote for this history. Okay, and also you can see the comments. So in this history, there are two comments. This is one and this is another. So this is the reply of this comment. You can see here, uh, this comment has uh, one reply and this uh, comment, this reply has also another reply. So you have to handle this in your application. Okay. And uh, this history has no any comment. And if you see here, this history has 87 comments. So you can see here. So you can see all the comments for a specific story and also i have added pagination in my application so you can see here this is a pagination so this indicates uh, how many news to display per page for now i have uh, this, this is default value 10 is the default value if you click on 15 it will uh, display 15 news per page okay and also you can click on this button to redirect to another page so this is i have implemented pagination in my application and uh, also there is one search bar suppose if i search i can search uh, history by its name so i have implemented search bar also and also this application somewhat support for mobile phone not exactly but uh, yeah it's somewhat support for mobile phone also you can see here so if you see here, uh, the index has no any background color, but uh, in my window, you see, there is background color. So uh, it's somewhat support for mobile phone also. Looking back to the code. So this is the code and uh, I have created several components like, uh, if you see here, this is data profile. So if you see here, this is data profile. You can see in my application where uh, uh, data profile includes name, date, story, and vote, and also optar. Okay, and history comment means uh, I have already uh, shown you the comment after after the clicking this button. So this uh, is the component, another component, history comment, and uh, this history comments will uh, include all the comments, including reply also. Okay, and history item includes. Uh, one story and this top story includes all the stories. So this is you have to decide uh, which component uh, you have to make, and uh, on the basis of your application, you have to create your components. Okay, and uh, if you see in this package JSON file, uh, I have added NGS optars. So if you see here, this is optars and NGS pages. So this is all the npm package I have installed and used in my application. So this is ngx pagination and ngx spinners okay so if you refresh this page if you load this page see this is loading spinner so i have added ngx spinner in my application also when you click on the comment see it will display uh, spinner until your first comment gets loaded so 
I have implemented this in my application. And uh, if you see, if you search uh, for, you uh, you can get all the package, all the libraries from npm. So like ngx pagination, ngx pagination, you can install using npm. Uh, like this, you can add ngx optar. So you can use uh, these all packages in your application um, and also NZ spinner. And uh, you might have one question, uh, how to display this spinner? Like uh, you can see here in my top stories, if you see in my HTML page, see, I have added NZ spinner here outside of container. Now to use this spinner, like uh, in my component section, if you see here, uh, when my stories ID get loaded, I will show the spinner and after my ID get fetched, I will hide this spinner. So in this way, you can uh, add spinner in your application. So these all are the code. You can explore this by yourself. So I will provide this code link in the video description. So nothing much to worry about it. And uh, if you see in my index file, so when you run the application, uh, uh, this index file will get executed first and uh, in this body uh, there is a root this is selector if you see in my app component selector a root so it will select this component and inside this component it select a top stories which is uh, this component so in this way you can uh, uh, decide which component to display in your web application okay and if you don't know about angular mods you can go to uh, angular documentation you can see here how to set up angular so you can use npm package to install angular cli and if you are if you use windows you have to uh, run this command first and uh, then you can use ng command to install to do, to uh, create your application and uh, to install components like i have added i have created several components to add components you can write like ng generate generate component and your component name so those some folder and inside component name okay or uh, uh, in short form you can write ng generate cg for generate c for component and component name for service also you can write ng generate service for model ng generate model so uh, this is the short form to create service components model and uh, these all are mentioned in the documentation so you can prefer that documentation and uh, uh, the uh, the documentation includes everything okay uh, now one more important thing you can also deploy your application like uh, i have deployed my application in in netlify so if you see here uh, this is my deployed application i have deployed this in netlify you can use any uh, platform to deploy your app and uh, everything is working fine in this uh, deploy app and uh, to deploy app, you can uh, just write uh, ng build. When you run this command, your uh, this disk folder will be created. Like uh, if I go to my disk folder, so this is the uh, static file. If you see here, these all are static file, and I can run this index also. I have to open terminal. I have to open uh, this code in Visual Studio Code. Open this in separate file, separate Visual Studio Code, and uh, you can see here uh, these all are static file. And uh, to run this uh, static file, you have to you can install uh, I guess live server. You can install this uh, extension, and uh, in this index file, you can right click on this and uh, you can click open with live server. Okay. Now see this is static file and when you deploy your application your application will look like this okay so this is the application i just shared through this video if you have any question do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section and i will meet you in next video thank you